Hey everybody, so you guys, most people know about this, but again, nobody wants to speak about hemp and how it can solve this problem. So, I mean, you're really saying that you don't care about the oceans. If you have known about hemp and you've seen my channel and you've looked into what it can actually do, then you know that hemp can literally combat this and completely change all of this shit. I mean, it really can. And like, why not perpetuate something that can help protect our oceans? Yet so many people want to walk along the oceans and live next to the oceans and swim in the oceans, yet nobody really wants to do anything to help save the oceans. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to be that thorn in humanity's ass while I still got breath in my lungs. So let's look at, take a look at the coral reefs and how um, <clears throat> plastic pollution is killing coral reefs. This is a four-year study. Millions of tons of plastic waste end up in the ocean every year, and the trash stays there. Whether it's grocery bags or water bottles or kids' toys, plastic is personally is practically indestructible. Again, it's the it's that petroleum plastic, because hemp plastic is it's still plastic; it's just biodegradable. Now, marine scientists have discovered that it's killing coral reefs. A new study based on four years of diving on 159 reefs in the Pacific shows that reefs in four countries, Australia, Thailand, Indonesia, and Myanmar, Myanmar, excuse me, are heavily contaminated with plastic. It clings to the coral, especially branching coral, and where it clings, it sickens or kills. <clears throat> The likelihood of disease increases from 4% to 89% when corals are in constant are, are in contact, excuse me, with plastic. Researchers report in the journal Science in the journal Science, yeah. Senior author Drew Har Harville, excuse me, at Cornell University says the plastic could be harming coral in at least two ways. First, bacteria and other harmful microorganisms are abundant in the water and on corals. When the coral is abraded, the, that might invite pathogens into the coral. <clears throat> It's certainly well known that plastics abrade corals, create new openings, she says. They basically tear open the skin of the coral and that can allow an infection from anywhere to start. <clears throat> In addition, Harvell says, plastic can block sunlight from reaching coral. And again, all this plastic is just like soda cans, water bottles, uh, candy wrappers, shit we really don't fucking need. There's a completely different way of doing things. You don't need to keep buying water bottles. There's ways that we can invent infrastructures and programs and businesses that allow people to recycle the same container. Or better yet, we could continue just selling this shit if you really want to, but just make it out of hemp. That way, it, it, it actually, hemp is biodegradable in water. So those bottles that would go into the water, they would just absorb into the ocean. They'd be a part of the ocean because hemp is good for everything. It's simple shit, dude. And, and it's crazy that nobody wants to speak about this. Uh, her group formed increased risk of four diseases in coral in contact with plastic. This is a huge survey, says Harvell. It was the idea of Julia Lamb, who was at the time a graduate student. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> there are really great studies showing how much plastic is going into the oceans and how much is floating on the surface, says Lamb, who is now a fellow at the Cornell University. But we really don't have any idea about what's underneath the surface of the ocean. The more they looked, especially in Asian waters, the more they found bottles, diapers, cotton swabs, food wrappers, and those are all things hemp can be made out of. <clears throat> all biodegradable, all good for the environment. Hemp is micro, antimicrobial, antifungal, and antibacterial nature. They noticed that coral that held that hard, wait, they noticed that coral that had plastic didn't look healthy. Based on how much plastic the researchers found while diving, they estimate that over 11 billion plastic items could be entangled in coral reefs in the Asia-Pacific region, home to over half the world's coral reefs. And that survey did not include China, one of the biggest sources of plastic pollution. So, yeah. <clears throat> Australian reefs had the least amount of plastic observed on reefs. That's good. Which the researchers attribute to a more comprehensive system for waste control. All right, so they're getting their shit together. Good. Other countries in the Pacific don't have much control over what ends up in the waste stream. Massive amounts of plastic are being thrown into the oceans from land. Like, that shit should not be allowed. Harville says, in countries that, see, this is the thing, like, that's being happening, yet we have these institutions that are supposed to be about environmental sustainability, yet they're not doing, they're just continuing to throw shit in the ocean. It's a bunch of bullshit. <clears throat> and, and I'm sorry, dude, if you're not talking about solutions, it's like you, you, you're being neglectful. So you're, you're part of the problem. And especially if you have a platform to, to speak on these solutions at a time when you know that all this shit's fucking going on and you choose not to, like, why are you choosing not to? Are you just choosing to fucking say things that get you attention or views? Or are you actually trying to be here to solve the problem? I hope you're trying to solve the problem. I keep encouraging you guys to solve the problem, but I don't get why you guys don't speak on this. 
It drives me nuts. This is why I don't even want to be in this world very much anymore because it's like it drives me fucking nuts to see all these problems, to know all these solutions, to try to share these, pe these solutions with people who actually have platforms to spread this information and they still choose not to spread this information. They continue to talk about the same shit over and over again, in my opinion, maybe throwing a few different words or titles here and there, but it's really the same fucking shit over and over again. It's insanity. Literally the definition, doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get a different uh, response. And sometimes I'm starting to think that you guys are perhaps puppets, that you're just saying these things to keep people complacent, which is even sadder. I hope that's not the truth. All right, anyway, I'm going to continue on. Love you guys. Bye.